Hey guys, my name is Jessica and I migrated to Los Angeles from Seattle exactly a year ago. I need to become Maz Mexican because there's a lot of us here and I have a lot to learn about who I am, where I come from, and who these f***ing kids are keep making all these goddamn noise. <laughs> welcome to Flama, welcome to Maz Mexican Graphics. So today, we're going to El Sushi Loco, which we actually found out about because somebody wrote it in the comment section. See, I do read those things. Yo, what? Mexican sushi? Is it Japanese? Is it Mexican? Is it American? We're gonna figure this out, and I'm gonna eat it. Yo me llamo Jessica, ¿cómo se llama usted? Hola, Pancho, mucho Pancho. gusto. Pancho. Y usted me estaba diciendo que usted es originalmente de East LA. East LA, I was born in East LA. Cool. Nací en el este de Los Ángeles. This concept of making Mexican sushi was born in Sinaloa, right? That's right. Well, this concept originated in Sinaloa. Obviously, okay. sushi's been around forever. People in, in Culiacán, Sinaloa, don't eat the raw stuff. So what they started to do is they started to put carne asada inside a roll, shrimp inside mm -hmm. a roll. So this is not, you're not saying at all that no, this is this Japanese No, this is not sushi. traditional. You're expecting traditional Japanese. Japanese style sushi, yeah. it is not. You're having fun with flavors having, that's right. and ingredients in the back and you're putting a little bit of Mexican oh. influence of it and a little bit of Japanese, but it's not at all. I mean, it's made the same, it's wrapped the same, right. it's cut the same, right. but the flavors are different. But like, this is really <laughs> fun. I really like the combination of citrus that you put in a lot of yeah. things and then just like traditional with the rice yeah. and the shrimp and everything. There's still a lot of traditional Well, you know, stuff. I originally thought it was going to be like a niche market, but you know what? Everybody comes in here, not just uh, Latin folks, yeah. you know, black folks, white folks, Asian folks, and they seem to embrace the idea of fun. Do you mind if uh, I go back in the kitchen with you Absolutely. and try to make oh. something? Are you ready? No, I'm wearing my chunk glass. Is that okay? No, it's okay. Okay, it's right. no, cool. No, no, no. So I had the fantastic idea to try to learn how to make sushi. Now, although sushi isn't really Mexican, it was really, really interesting to see Mexican flavors mixed with a little Japanese technique. You know, that's America for you. Anyway, I've never really made anything sushi-like before. I mean, I guess my parents and I did get a sushi kit from the state fair once. The guy really convinced us by like, hey, it's easy. Guess what? It's not. Like, if you don't make the rice right, it's just not going to work. And Mexican rice is really, really different than Japanese rice. We learned that the hard way. But I decided that today was the day to learn how to make sushi. And I think I did pretty well. The actual rolling of the sushi is a very strange technique. Imagine rolling a burrito, but you have to cut off the edges of the burrito and you have to make sure it's tight enough that none of the insides of the burrito would come out on the sides. It's not as easy as rolling a burrito. Although the sushi came out quite scrumptious and delicious, but it just didn't look very well because I still don't know how to manage knives. The people behind the camera and then the chefs around me were actually very concerned of me handling that. But I said, hey, don't worry, I got it. And guess what? I didn't cut myself. I didn't put blood all over the food. I think that's a success. Did you make up these concepts? A lot or? of the things that we've made up here, they've been on the fly. Like with these shrimp, we played around with the ingredients, bringing different flavors, mm -hmm. and cooking it on the fly, and they stuck. People started accepting that, and it just took off. The combination of Japanese technique combined with the Mexican flavors, and then also you got some cream cheese in here. This is a little bit American flavors as well. Oh, there is. You got some there cheese is. in there. Americans there love cheese. I, I was born so I'm an American first. Right. So we, we bring cultures together. Cool. Even in the kitchen, you know, we bring different cultures together. We teach people how to make this thing come alive. I think it's great. This is really exciting. This is, I think, the first time that I see someone take creative integrity in what they do and then present that. This is really, yeah. it's a really fun experience. Thank you. Anyway, I'm really excited. This was fun. Now I know how to make sushi and, you know, maybe I'll also open up a restaurant. I probably won't. I still don't know how to cut things, remember? was interesting. I know Japanese food and I know Mexican food and that was a weird combination in the middle. But that was only available here in the United States of America. Because you know what? What's more LA than just combining a bunch of stuff together and making something new? That's cool. Mucho thanks for El Sushi Loco for letting us film there. And if you guys want me to go to more places here in Los Angeles, type it down in this comment section down below. Come on, don't be a stranger. This was Mas Mexican. I'm Flama and this is me, Jessica. Goodbye.